Hey guys, it's Alana. I just have a small haul for you guys today. Um, excuse like I'm wearing like literally no makeup except for I have some uh, lipstick on. It's Love Lauren by MAC. Um, but I'm just getting ready to make dinner and I haven't really done any makeup today. So um, I apologize for that. I know that's kind of weird doing a makeup video but not wearing any so sorry about that but I just want to get this up to you because I haven't had a lot of time to do videos lately so I wanted to do another one as quickly as possible so um this is some of the stuff that I had bought at the same time as my previous haul but I hadn't had a chance to show you guys so I just want to kind of show you some of the stuff I've used so I want to be able to kind of give you like a little review or whatever um okay so the first thing I'm going to talk about is this Al Net Satin L'Oreal Paris hairspray uh, and this is, uh, it says new on it. This one is color, for color treated hair and it has a UV filter. And this is the extra strong hold. And uh, it says it disappears at the stroke of a brush. So I got this on Shoppers. It was actually on sale for, I think it was like $9.99, which is pretty good because it's usually $14.99. So um, I have used it. I really like it. I have no complaints about it. Um, the only thing is I really don't like the smell. I know this sounds weird, but like it smells like okay my first thought was it smells like an old lady and I feel really bad saying that but it just has this like old lady hairspray smell and I and I, I really feel bad saying that I don't mean it in a mean way at whatsoever but it just has this very mm, I don't know smell but once you get past the smell it works wonders um I curled my hair with it and it held the curl like amazingly and I didn't take the curls out for a couple hours like what I did was I curled my hair and then I got ready and then right before I was about to leave the house I sort of like separated the curls so it wasn't just like ringletty if that makes any sense um and it held the curl all night it was it's a really good hairspray it's probably one of the better ones I've used uh thus far and it's a really big bottle so I mean because I've paid like you know 10 or 20 bucks for like a mini bottle at a salon so it, it's good I recommend it um again just if you can get past the smell but it doesn't it doesn't stay that small in your hair really I don't think it wasn't noticeable anyway to me um so that was good I like that um and the next thing I got this is part of the Christmas collection at Shoppers Drug Mart this is the Quo um this was I think I got it for $9.99 and it was regularly $20.99 or <laughs> $19.99 uh this is the cheek tint set for whatever reason I'm just drawn to these like the last two years that Tarte has had them I've picked them up and this is probably like I bet you pretty much exactly the same even the packaging is the same except for the other one was gold this is black but um these are the colors I'll open them up in a second but um basically on the back they describe as winter summer fall um and they're really tiny but like the packaging is exactly the same I actually bet you if I do a comparison video they're probably the exact same color um this is one of them they don't have names on them it's just that's what it looks like on the back that's what it looks like there it's a nice color I just love these like I don't really even use them that often but I just love them and I, I should use them more often I think I just strangely have so much makeup and I just forget about them but I'm going to be putting these to the front of my drawers so that I'll remember them this is um a little bit darker one it's a bit bronzier it's the color in the back it's just a bit darker as you can see there um i bet you a lot of shoppers drug mart still have this stuff left so if you do live near one check it out um the one that i went to didn't have a lot of stuff left this is the pinkest one um but i'm sure you can find this stuff and it's definitely a good deal because it's half off so Oh, this one's like really melty. Anywho, that's the last one, the pink. So I like them a lot. Um, I'll definitely be using these and incorporating them into looks. Uh, and then the next things are some lip glosses. I actually purchased these a while back when I first saw them on display at um, London Drugs. And, you know, a little bit of obsessive compulsive me came out when I saw them because I'd been waiting for so long for them to come to Canada that I couldn't help myself. So there was four of them and I got all four. Um, the first one is Coral Reef. I just think it's like a beautiful corally color, really nice for summer. It's really, really pretty. Uh, the next one is Lilac something, but it's so small I can't read it. Lilac Pastel. And I saw this in um, Jamie's video, all Jamie Rockstar 
is her name username um sorry her twitter and her username are different so i'm not sure if i got confused but she had this in a haul and one of her friends had sent it to her or given it to her and i was like oh my gosh i asked her right away like where did you get it i need it um and she told me when they first came her and emily clark tweeted when they first came to canada so I was so excited uh although i couldn't find them for a while but then i finally found them at london because they had a small display anyway uh, okay move along uh the next one is pink pop just a pretty, pretty pink color. And the last but not least is Peach Petal. I already have this one, but this is just a backup. I love this color. It's so good. Um, again, thank you to Emily Clark for pointing this one out to us because I first heard about it from her like, quite a while back. So, um, <coughs> sorry. Okay, so nail polishes. Um, these ones I got for Christmas. Um, they're the Bourge, not Bourgeois. I can never say this. Borghese, Borghese, I don't know how to say it, but that's the brand. Um, this one's called Rubino Red, and it's B245, it's a nice red color, good for the holidays for sure. Um, the next one is called Puccini Pomegranate, B315, looks like that. And last but not least, this is probably my favorite one, it's called uh, Cappuccino Mocha, and it's B180. And I love it. Um, it kind of reminds, well, I don't even know what it reminds me of. A whole bunch of Essie colors like this. I was going to say it reminded me of, oh my gosh, the famous Chanel one. Particular, no, Paradoxal. But not really. But it looks more like Paradoxal in person than it does on the camera. On the camera, it's kind of like a bit more orangey red. But it doesn't really look like that in person. The other ones were true to color, though. Um, and then I got these three from the Burlesque collection. I showed you two in my last haul. But this one is Let Me Entertain You. Did I show this one to you already? I don't, I don't think so. Uh, and then Sparkalicious. I painted my nails with this over the holidays. And it was like such a good holiday color. Although it is so hard to get off. Like I'm not even kidding you. Like it hurt to get off. It was that hard. It was so, so hard. Um, and the next one is Bring On The Bling. And it's just more. This one's like more of like a multicolor. And then this is more. The sparkles are multicolor. But it's more of a gold base. So. The difference so it's sparkalicious and bring on the bling um so yeah that's it uh oh and then this uh presto fast dry top coat i got for christmas as well and i really like this top coat it works really quickly um because i have gel nails i usually don't end up putting a top coat on my nails i just paint them and that's it but um i've been using top coat lately and i definitely noticed the difference it lasts longer and it gives you that nice little bit shinier look rather than some more matte and like sometimes when I paint them they start chipping off the top like right away but with that it has been so um yeah I'm gonna try really really hard oh great I just watched this all over my pants lovely anyway um I'm gonna try really hard not to buy makeup for a while just because I was doing really good at not buying it and then all of a sudden lately I've just sort of been buying it like crazy again and I just, I really, really, really don't need anything. So I really want to try hard not to buy anything. So that's my goal um, is not to buy anything. But I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I, I really don't know if I can do it. But um, I'm going to try not to. I'm going to at least use the things that I have and start, instead of using the same things all, all the time, I'm going to try to start using more of like, these kinds of things that I have and stuff like that. So anyway, um, let me know if you guys have any requests or want to see any videos or you guys want me to do any reviews. I really want to review the Laura Mercier Illuminating um, Tinted Moisturizer because I love it so much and I really think that you guys should check it out when you go to Sephora. I'm not encouraging you to buy it or anything, but just check it out because it's really, really nice. It's going to be like, I can't wait to use it for summer. It's, it's so amazing for like spring and summer. You don't even need any other makeup other than that. Um, it's beautiful. Anyway, um, I'll talk to you guys soon and yeah, hope you have a good one. Bye.